Hey guys, Liz here, aka Isabel Sharen. Um, I'm imagining you're probably thinking to yourselves, where is she? <laughs> Why does she look like that? She looks different. I'll tell you all in a little while. Um, I'm actually in Science Space and um, I just thought I'd bring you here, um, just show you around this little place before I get started as to what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I make so much sense. So anyhow, I'm going to turn around. I've got to show you this because this just cricks me. So in Science Space, I'm walking into this water, right? Okay, <laughs> you've got to watch this. Let me try and immerse myself in the water with my camera. Check this out. You get water coming up on your camera screen. I love it. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> I need to do it again. <laughs> I discovered this by accident. I was like, I've got to show people this before I even start. Anyhow, what I'm here to show you is um, Science Space. You've probably seen it before. Um, other people have blogged it but what I'm going to show you is about the Abitab. They've actually got um, in conjunction with DAS 3D um, they were able to import some avatars into sign space um, so I'm just showing you my inventory I'm opening up some stuff because <laughs> I thought I'd do it while I'm here um, so basically I'm going to show you um, the DAS avatar is what I'm wearing and um, how you can then sort of change your avatar to make it how you want. So basically you can go shopping. Now, I have to say the shopping doesn't look exciting. When you're looking at it, you're going, oh yeah, mm. I did it first, I have to admit. Um, but actually when you are putting things on and you're trying them in world, you start to look different. Um, so, you know, it's not the greatest overall packaging as such, but let me tell you the skins in here are actually really nice as you can see um, so the pictures I don't think do justice to what you can get in here um, and I think you know you have to sort of scroll around a bit more but these are the does 3d avatars um, so yeah I'm just gonna scroll through so those are the the items of clothing you can get and everything um, what I have discovered see look at that isn't that amazing yeah I've got that but I'm not I'm not wearing that so what I did was um, I went into the edit mode and this is where you know I'm showing you that um, outfit mode look at my bum <laughs> actually I haven't fixed it yet <laughs> I have to fix it <laughs> I was halfway through doing it the other day so this is the face close-up now these sliders are amazing okay so I haven't finished her, so I might finish her a bit while we're here but look so you can you can change the type of um, sort of um, features according to I guess culture or whatever you want to say so yeah there you go um, which is you know it goes to an extreme yes but when you go down the sliders you can then finally adjust them which is what I'm also going to show you so you can come down here and I mean just look at this <laughs> ah! sorry <laughs> I can't help myself <laughs> Let me just normalize myself a little bit. I'm sorry. I, ju I just have so much fun doing this kind of thing. <laughs> and look, hee -hee, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, God. My only thing is I find it very finicky to get it back to where it was. So, you know, hey. <laughs> but I had so much fun playing with this. Um, the skull thing, I ca you can't see. It's, it, basically, if you can see it when you turn around your head because you can see your um, going through your, your hair. Yeah. <laughs> See, like that? Yeah. So, yeah, you just want to get it back down. Let me just get the other one back down in a minute. Yeah. What have I done there? I think I have to go. Yeah. I think I. Oh, I don't know. I think it might be the skull width. Is it the skull width? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go back to that now. I must change that. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Oh yeah, it is that. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind me mumbling because I'm 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 trying to do this and I'm, I I sort of get myself when I'm doing this. So anyhow, um, as you can see, as you run through, there are so many things you can change on the face, um, and that is what I find actually quite fascinating. When I first came in to do this, um, I thought, oh yeah. This doesn't look exciting. 
<laughs> and and that's my honest opinion. It didn't look exciting to me um, when I first unboxed myself and everything. But actually, now that I've got used to playing with it, because I thought I'd come in a few times and play around and get used to it. And I've noticed the changes that you can make to your avatar are quite interesting. So you can really, really, really create um, strong definitions to your face, to your body, whatever you like. You can make yourself look as warped as possible if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, why not? But I, I'm loving the whole idea that you can make so many changes like this. So I'm just sweeping around to the sides just so you can see what the profile looks like. Um, the other thing that, you know, it's just, look at that. I love it. Um, yeah, so I've, I've got this skin on. I quite like this skin, um, but I'll show you the skins in a while. But. You know, you can you can really alter the, your face and, and sort of look at how fuller or lean it is. Um, I like it slightly in between. Um, you can change the jaw, uh, you know, just in and out, pointy or whatever, midway between. I prefer a midway between. Um, it's more me. Um, but I'm going to take you to the eyes in a second because, like, oh, my God. <laughs> See, this is where you can really have fun. <laughs> Look at these. I mean, it can completely change your expression on your face, just how you're doing the eyebrows and um, things like that. Um, whereas in other worlds, you apply a, an eyebrow. So I was, you know, um, for us novices, um, I thought that was pretty handy. Look at that. Uh, and also um, the eye spacing. The eye spacing I found quite interesting as well. So you can, I'm, I like to show you the profile just so as you can get to see how the change is sorry if you can hear my cat in the background um but look yeah i just like look at that it's just it's really and it's really fine so it's a really fine sort of detail so you've got to be really really careful sort of steady with your hand not like me zoom across <laughs> but look how different i can make myself look just by finally adjusting the eyes which i find fascinating I just like it halfway between yeah that, that'll do um, but yeah so I uh, this is what I found with the um, the science base so you've got your Daz avatar so it comes as a basic um, shape um, you can either wear that basic shape if you want um, but I didn't want to so I thought I'd try playing with it and I have been playing with her um, and just trying to get it right and <laughs> My, my backside was actually <laughs> where I left her off last time. I thought I'd give her booty. <laughs> I gave her too much, yes. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, just look at this. I just love the sliders. The sliders are so cool. And the, it, the Daz Avatar is able to be, you can do with it whatever you like. Um, with all the sliders, you can just go, um, you can go crazy with it. And that's what I like about this. And also what I have found, um, I'm not wearing Daz Avatar skin. So you can put, your packs will come with skin, um, but and eyes. So these aren't Daz Avatar eyes. I I'm not sure I actually like these eyes anymore. Um, uh, and I might put the Daz ones back on. Um, but you can change skins, and the skins make such a difference. Um, and this is I'll show you the skins in a moment um, when I'm going through the inventory. But yeah, it just just how you can change everything is pretty cool. Um, so I guess really what's good about this is you don't have to keep buying different heads <laughs> to change your look you, you just have to buy you just get your avatar once and frankly you know you can change your look as to how often you want um uh, let me try that let me just get my mouth right i like that um actually you can have a bit of a smile with your mouth um so i've got her sort of um usually in a basic sort of like look so she's got a smile the only thing i mean i could film this with voice on but i didn't want to because i never like i'm, I'm so ocd i don't like the green things above your head or anything that shows that you're talking in voice so i didn't um but yeah so let me just put that smile just there so she looks kind of chilled, chilled. Okay, oh, can you hear my cat? Honestly, <laughs> I've got to do this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Look, did, I mean, she's not even breaking when I'm doing this. This is just so cool about it. You're not breaking your avatar, and you can always put it back. Um, and you don't, you know, 
there's a button to, on the right hand side down below there that you see save and close so you can either click discard what you've just done or you can save what you what you've done and you save it um, so you've always got that shape to go to and it stores um, up above I can't remember where it is so right I'm gonna show you here like the skins now this is one thing I have learned <laughs> and you know why I'm looking like that is because I'm putting a number of skins on so that's the thing with the avatars you can layer <laughs> I've worked this out everything layers upon each on upon a layer upon layer upon layer upon and I did that with all my eyes as well and what you do to get it off you just go and click them all off um, and then go to the one you want um, which is what I discovered so um, I'm certainly not gonna go around looking like this <laughs> that, I like the little girly one that's quite sweet the one with the freckles but I'm not gonna wear that today I'm gonna go back to the skin that I like um, whenever I get the I, I'm a nightmare to myself doing this honestly I spent ages one day thinking what happened to my skin and and eyeshadows and then I realized that actually when you put them on you have to then actually click them off as well um, which is was a lesson that I learned so isn't that pretty I like I like this I like this skin so I will keep that now that's supposed to do an aging thing I haven't worked that out yet but that um, blotchiness one I'm trying to show you but um, yeah I can't work this bit out very well myself anyhow so yeah I, maybe it's the lighting in here it might be the lighting I don't know anyhow right so we're gonna go to the inventory I think um, so let's go oh the body shape yes I mean <laughs> yeah you can be as tall as an alien if you want <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah should I go to the inventory now I just have to do this I'm sorry but I just have to show you <laughs> how you can do this and this is how I ended up with my butt because I haven't actually finished off with my body yet I haven't done it where I'm really happy um, but I'll have to work on that I just yeah <laughs> yeah I was I was gonna sing that I like big butts but again that lay <laughs> I really wanted to have a butt and this is that's why I gave myself a butt but I never got around to doing the legs and um, yeah, she was walking around. She's been walking around with skinny legs and a big butt. Um, and I was still like, you know, if I could find a dance <laughs> to that song, I would do it. <laughs> but yeah, the body shape, again, you can really, really alter it. So now remember, this is a Daz avatar that's come in. And Science Pace, Science Pace, um, you can just completely change it. Okay. Um, and the thing about these avatars, from what I understand, they're... Um, they, they, I guess the word lag, they don't create lag. They've, it's all to do with this polygon count, which I'm still yet to understand. Look at that bum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went a bit crazy with it. Uh, anyhow. Yeah, the Daz avatars, they're pretty cool, I have to say. Um, and did you know, I mean, I, I found this because they've been featured, this has been featured in the Forbes um, write up, actually. And I will give a link to that in my blog. Well, I, I won't do a blog actually I'll give a link to that um, in the, uh, under the video I'll actually write a blog about this uh, probably in the next few days um, but I don't know if you know this about the um, science space um, these DAS 3D models um, they've been used in Marvel films such as Captain America and Iron Man and that is what's so amazing about this they're actually now in a, a virtual world that we can mess around with which is quite impressive so this is the inventory for your clothing and for your looks okay so um, now again remember whenever you're changing something um, so you click on it to take it off and you click on it to put it on excuse this one I haven't messed around with her hair for her shape so that's why it doesn't look so great I have messed around with this hair and and you can actually change the colors of your hair um, but I'll go into that in another video but for now, I'm just showing you generally how this Daz 3 avatar can look. Um, and that's, you, you can actually buy full avatars and they'll store there. Unfortunately, with those, you can't change the outfits, um, but they're fun for role playing. So these are all the eyes and the makeups that come with the Daz 3D. And then there, I've got my skins there. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my eye off. Um, see, that's a Daz 3D eye, but you can put on different eyes, um, different colors. But I actually like the first sort of slightly bluey one. 
um, which I might think I might stick with actually. Um, yeah, I do realise my blue ones that I had before are a bit bulbous. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to put makeup on because I actually like her fresh face like this with a bit of gloss and of course the clothing is in different folders so anyhow um, it was a quick overview and I think I'll do another one just showing you properly <laughs> but for now I'm gonna go bye